Hello, everybody. This is a little change of pace here. Today we aren't playing Punch Out. Today we're playing Yoshi's Island. So it's a change of pace. I want to do two different series for the beginning of my channel, Punch Out and Yoshi's Island, because um, I don't really have anything much else to do. Well, except for the fact that I can go with everybody else and play all the new games that are coming out, like Call of Duty Infinite and any other game that's out right now. But I decided to do a little old school right before everything else changes into everybody wins. They stop playing these old games. And I enjoyed them a lot. And I feel like they should be revived. So, let's go on with Now I'm going to be reading the rest of the dialogue. Or attempt to, at least. Welcome to Yoshi's Island, a paradise where all the Yoshis live. They are all in an uproar over, over a fallen baby that fell from the sky. Wait, it seems... As though the baby knows where he wants to go. The bond between the brothers tells each of them where the other one is. Yoshi decides to carry him to his destination via a relay system. And so begins a new adventure for the Yoshis and Baby Mario. Let's go, Yoshi! Tutorial mode. Activate. If Baby Mario falls off Yoshi's back, the countdown timer will begin. When it reaches zero, Kamek's toadies will swoop in and kidnap Baby Mario. The more stars you collect, the safer you will be. Once Baby Mario is safe, the timer will count back up to ten. Complete the stage by passing Baby Mario to the next help from Yoshi. Except for this level, because um, he stays as Green Yoshi. Go ahead and stomp on these. Why did you come back? Rejuvenation powers? Anyway, let's continue. This block? Flutter jump. By holding A down, you can hover in the air for a short time. Make the extra effort. Let's go! We did it. Oh no. This early? Grab a Mario. Jump or use your tongue to snare him. Even throw eggs at him. If the tyro drops to zero, Kamek's goons will nab him. Boom. Coming for you, Luigi. One dash one. Make eggs. Throw eggs. Nice scenery, isn't it? Nice block. Making eggs. Grab an enemy with B, then press down on the D-pad to make an egg. Now try throwing the egg. Press R. That's it. 
Now, since I'm on patient mode right now, I sort of don't have to, like, hold, then let go. I have to press it twice. I almost missed that one. Special flower, gather five for a one-up. They add to your point total. Piranha plant. Sucking me. So noisy. Go ahead and give me the old tape. Message block. Throwing it. Press R once and the aiming cursor will begin to move. Press R again to throw the egg. When you find a question cloud, hit it with an egg. Cool stuff will happen. To cancel the throw, press down on the pad. There's a lady daisy here. To provide plants guardian, a very suspicious looking suspicious looking pipe. Go ahead and hit this cloud. Like stairs up here. To an unassuming place. All the ones in the middle are red. I knew it. Oh man, he ran away. He was supposed to hold stars. If you didn't know. Shit, I got here. You only need to get the bottom one, kind of thing. And I completely missed it, okay. I'm trying to find over it. Nope. Well, we can go ahead and get that. We get this guy. And then go down. That's the nostalgic feeling with the underground theme. Chomp rock is a useful thing. Push it to make it roll, bowling over your enemies. If you get stuck, stand on one edge to make it roll again. Now, ground chomp rock. In the next level, there won't be any chomp rocks, but in the third level, there will be. We're gonna get both of those levels on tomorrow. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to swallow. Tony's kind of coming underground, right? Oh, great. I just... Uh, I messed up. Anyway, we'll take care of that later. Let's go ahead and push it. And then we can go ahead and jump on it for some extra leverage if you want to get all the red coins. For this one, we do. Gotta get 100 in each level so we can do the bonus levels. Take it around. Wallow this shy guy. Put him in here. Right now he's gonna stand there. And do his business, whatever he's gonna do. As long as he doesn't just walk up to the chomp rock and just off himself, because then I'll, they'll be bad. Need him. That's the first time I ever thought somebody would say that, and I never thought it would be me. Just so ever closer to these pixels. Alright, since we can't move along any further without risking the chance of him popping, go ahead and hit him in there. Tulips always give you eight. Or whenever you have more than 30, just give you some coins afterwards. Which means I have eight, ten seconds if I get hit. Now, I learned a cool trick. If you hit the ceiling, as you're flutter jumping, you can flutter jump again, but it won't be as high. Scroll over slowly. Let's make it back up. Getting claustrophobic. Put a sock in it. I put an egg in it in this situation. Now this is a cool little mechanic. This is a Shy Guy tunnel. If you stand extremely close to it like this, 
until you turn your bath around it, they will pop up. Ready for me? Test it again. Now we do this. This is just a sneak attack. You can also use them as a weapon right here. Also, I'm uh, using the Game Boy Advance for this game. I was using a, um, a an SNES emulator. I was using a different emulator for this one. I, um, I forgot which one it was. I'm pretty sure it was an SNES one. Okay, let's keep this guy in our mouth. Even later. Trust me. In each level, 20 red coins are hidden amongst the yellow ones. They each add one point to your total points. Go ahead. Uh, uh, and let's go ahead and do this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope, that's over me. And if you go ahead and um, press select, you can go ahead and see that we have every single thing in this level. We have 100%. Unless this shy guy over here wants to change things up. Oh my end. Ooh, that was close. That was so close. Flip cards, get items, in with the cursor, and press A. Collect the items on the cards. You hit. If you get cam, if you lose all the items, hit exit. Alright. Okay. Alright, that's, that's, that, that's it. I've already been risking you too much. Give me those items. Three starter items for the next video. How nice. So, that was like a very short video, except it was longer than my other one, so you'll get to enjoy some 16 minutes of fun, or entertainment, whatever you guys call it. Anyway, I'll see you on the next video of Yoshi's Island. Bye!